Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today, you guys. I am back today with more Moon Knight. And <laughs> after last time, I just, I have checked all my expectations, everything at the door because that that was that was that was something last time that was a definite turning point i think in the series um i will briefly get into a, a couple of things actually because there's a very interesting things that have come to my attention after the fact um there's a lot of implications about whatever the heck it was that happened at the end of the last episode etc 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 um, so I will get to that, but before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and as always, I'm sending you those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much for that. Um, so yeah, guys, I don't know what, I, I don't know what the last, like, 10 minutes of the episode was. I, ju I just don't even know. If there's one thing I know, it's that I don't know anything. That is the only thing I could be sure of. It's just that I just really just have to expect anything at this point. Um... It was a great episode. It was a great episode. I mean, the, the early parts of the episode were just giving me such, like, great adventure, Indiana Jones, mummy vibes. Um, it was a lot of fun. Layla could easily have her own spinoff series here, like, total, like, action-adventure star. And I kept saying through the whole episode, I'm like, don't kill Layla, don't kill Layla, don't kill... I guess I just didn't think... I would have to be so specific as to say, do not kill the main character. I guess I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. Um, so at this point, so some of the cool things that came to my attention afterwards because of the comments, um, what, what, it's, it's hard to say what's going on at the end because it was brought to my attention that there can be kind of a, an, a meeting place um, where altars can convene, interact with each other, exchange information, etc. Um, the fact that the hippo deity was there <laughs> does maybe imply perhaps that this is some kind of supernatural occurrence um, as well. Or instead of. I really honestly don't know. Um, but it would seem that it is either a kind of sad meeting place. Or it is some kind of supernatural limbo. Like this is some form of the afterlife or purgatory or whatever you want to call it. Or something. I honestly don't know what the right answer is. Um, they have not given me enough info yet. I'm sure they will resolve that in this app. Um, but <laughs> they, they had me, they had me going. Because honestly, after nine of the ten minutes, I was like, oh my god. They really just completely metaphorically flipped me off in this whole series and told me that none of it was real. Um... And because it was all just so grounded, you know, and it all started to make some kind of sense. Like, oh, Arthur was there. Ar you know, the cane was there. Khonshu, Layla, all these things. The, mo the movie with Stephen Grant and the great archaeologists and all that. And, and they really had me going, nine of those ten minutes, until they pulled out the, whatever you call, I, I was calling it a sarcophagus, I don't know if that's the correct term or not, mummy coffins, whatever you want to call them, until that happened, until Stephen came back, until the hippo um, entity, they did not mention a name, all we got was just a, kind of a mutual scream, 
um, which was a very fun uh, way to end the episode. Um, but yeah, and then I was like, okay, all right, okay, I see what you, I see what you're doing. Um, so I really, honest, I ju I am just going in with absolutely no preconceptions about what could be going on, aside from what I just told you, aside from just like, you know, what has been told to me or what or what um, it could possibly be. Um, but yeah. <laughs> what what a twist what a and then like okay so if it's a meeting place then there is still the issue of the shooting like of <laughs> mark you know slash steven say so, you know the body the body has been shot there's still that to deal with twice you know once you could say oh it's winged him which it really didn't. But twice, you guys. So I don't know, you guys. I really honestly do not. Um, I am very intrigued to see where they're going with this. I think it has been masterfully told, the story has been. Um, so I am just very, very, very curious to see where it's all going. So without further ado, what do you say? We go ahead and jump right in to the next episode of Moon Knight. Let's do this. This is all. You're fine. What was that? Calm down, Mark. Mark, I didn't shoot you. What? Your mind is vi- And that you were with a rhinoceros and a hippopotamus. You're right. Hippopotamus. You're right. It, it was a hippopotamus, and it was, but it talked. Now, what do you think? Do you think that is sense or nonsense? What? Well, uh, really encouraging. Honestly, I do. I I around? don't know. I don't know what's before happening. Build, before you got upset, you were talking to me about a boy. Do you remember that boy? Is the boy? You think you could tell him? me about that boy? Is are we going to learn about the past? <laughs> I mean. I always pay you a lot of money in, in this place. You know You're really good. I tell you what, I feel like a million dollars. Never felt so good. I'm going to see myself uh, up. Doctor, I don't want to. Oh. 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 Okay, I. And we're back. And we're back. At the, and we're back. Well, he's miserable. I'm afraid you're actually what? quite dead. I'm sorry, what? Huh? So I'm this- dead. We're dead? This is the afterlife? Hold on a sec. It's been a minute since we've had a soul pass through here. Um. <laughs> just kind of fumbling. It's, it's just one, uh, one moment, uh, please. Okay. To the realm of the Juat. Juat, the Egyptian underworld. This is Tawere, goddess uh -huh. of women and children. And she's uh, guiding us through our journey to the afterlife. Oh, because we mentioned the first oh, okay. episode, remember? That, like, you would have right. to go on a so mission. I do actually have cards for all this, if you just wait. And, um, no, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so, I'm loving the hippopotamus. Um, a psych ward's a first for me, but hey, we can roll with it, right? Um, why would we imagine so this road to be a psychiatric they, yeah. hospital? Because we're insane. That's... We're insane, Steven. Talking hippo. Oh man, Dr. Harrow's right. Dr. Harrow. Oh, it's Ma Marcus starting Dr. to. Move it to you. So, like, right through these doors, for example, we go through here, there's gonna Mark. be a bunch of patients, and there's Crawley probably about to. What? A dog. Oh! Not so much! Oh, not so much! And feel the breeze, right, Tower Edit? Okay. okay. So, he's the smart one, hey? Well, if your heart's balanced in life. And you will spend eternity in paradise. The field of reeds. Uh, but uh, uh, before we but... Get started, I've, I've just got to do a quick little uh... What quick will What now? Oh! Oh my goodness! Are we taking the hearts? What if they don't balance? You get thrown overboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way she put it. Forever. 
Frozen in sand. No one balanced souls on my boat. Them's the rules. Fingers crossed for you guys, hey? Okay, well, wow! That's encouraging. If it comes to it, kill the hippo. Kill the <gasps> no! Okay, kill the fellas. Why is it doing that? Why is it moving like that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, That's uh, never happened. Have a card for this. There's no card for this. Now, I don't know what you two guys have been hiding, but my advice get in there and show each other the truth. Balance your scales okay. before we arrive at the field of reeds, or your okay. souls will be destroyed. So, How are we supposed to do this? we're going to have to confront the past. And we don't have to actually, you know, like, the what? care what the goddess tell it. No, just, you know, find me a rope and, 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 yeah. and or we can do what she says and like, help we, each other uncover we whatever can, it is that we're hiding. I don't think Mark wants to dig that deep. Know, they need to work together to figure out what has really happened? Okay, so here's one that we've seen. Steve, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna like revisit every single memory I've ever had. What is happening here? But Mark, do you remember this? Just a whoa filled with dead bodies. New York, no way. Oh, oh man. What do you know? Are these people? places where? No. Oh no. I'm sure they're not. Huh? All of them? <gasps> killed all of them they were criminals murderers predators <sighs> the worst of the worst can't you wanted them punished so can't you made him protecting the travel it, it, the scales are slowing yeah. down it's working okay all well, right, okay so, we're getting somewhere now, what, what do we do mark <gasps> why is there a child in a room filled with people that you've killed oh no oh no Oh no, they're separated? Did they get separated? Oh crap. Oh no, and it's Steven and... Mom? Steven's gonna get to see what happened. Who's hungry? Roro? That's the mom, mom who they don't talk to anymore. With only one fin. Mark, be nice to your little brother. <gasps> Uh-oh! What do you do? Keep an eye on your brother, okay? Crap! Later skaters. And something happens to the little boy and he's blamed for it. Is that what happens? Oh. Can you hear that, Dr. Grant? I <gasps> sure do, Rosa. Sounds to me like danger. That's a movie. Not to when it's raining. It'll be fine. Don't be a baby. Oh no. And something's gonna happen. What? Was that really there or in it looks like it's filling with water. Oh god, no, no. Lads! You have to get out of here! Oh crap. Don't go any further! This is this is heartbreaking. Is this why the mom doesn't talk to him anymore? But Steven wouldn't Is Steven like the pre-event? It's it's because he remembered the mom. So does he have memories before this happened, but not? And we saw at the beginning her saying, this is all your fault. Oh, and Mark didn't want him to see. There, are they both kind of remembering it right now? Oh, this looks like the funeral or wake or Oh God! Oh no! What are you doing here? Hmm? Come on, buddy. You were supposed to keep him safe. Stephen, let's go. Let him drown. Oh! Uh, your fault. This is all. She blamed your him. Fault. Just about to blow out the candles now. Oh, she won't come out and say, okay. Oh, man. Your mother's not feeling well, Mark. <sighs> we'll do it just you and I this year. Oh, she fell into like a depression and had all that animosity towards him. Is that why they don't speak anymore? You are always jealous of him. <laughs> Ever since. 
since he was born. Oh no. I sh should have known something like this. <gasps> he got blamed for all of it. He was just a kid. They were both kids. And Mark really doesn't want Steven to see it. Whoa. Alright. Alright. What was in the room? It's not what she was like. No. That is though. Back in there. What are you? We will fix this. You're supposed to fix this. I mean, why haven't you? <sighs> it's not something that can He laughed, home. Whoa. Oh no, are they? They're not in the sands, are they? Oh my god, that's just heartbreaking. It's devastating. Killed hostages. And you believe that? Yeah, wouldn't put it past you. That's, I, you know what? I think we need to hear There's each other out. Wall in a fugue state gets you discharged from the military. I didn't have a ton of options after that, so I went work for hire for my old CEO, Bushman. Oh, the job okay. was to raid an Egyptian tomb. Bushman changed the plan. <sighs> Called for no witnesses, and I couldn't live with that. Is that Dr. and Foley? Oh, Is God. That? Was this, I wonder if this was when... Oh, because we don't know exactly when Khonshu... Could this be... Okay, yep. Oh my god! What a waste. Hmm. Huh? I feel the pain inside of you. Ah. This is when it happens. Hmm. Okay. To be my final word against the evildoers. To bind your very being. Why? I to wonder me why he said yes. And eradicate only the worst. Was the it really just because she was about to die? Deserve, I feel it. Fractured, broken, most fascinating. He was manipulating you from the start. No, I kept us alive. Mark, he was, he was taking advantage of you. He... Well, it was just a way for me to keep being what I've always been. A killer. Do oh, he's always felt like he's a killer because of the brother. The of the night God. And bring my vengeance to those who would do them harm. Okay. Then rise. Rise and live again as my fist of vengeance. As wow. My moon Knight. Oh man, the origin story at last. Unbalanced souls are being judged and condemned to the sands before their time. Oh, this is bad. Is that because of what? Oh. Yes, because yeah, of what Arthur's doing. Please help us free Conchu. Are you sure you want to be with Conchu? Because it seems like you really want to get away from him. I did. But this is our only shot. Sorry, it's it's uh, we don't have much Please of a choice right now. Us. Bedroom that you didn't want me to go into. That, that's it. That's what we're just, just a second. Just a second. Just, 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 just wait a second. Just give me a second here. Okay. What? Um, ex what was? Look, I'm just begging you. Don't make us go there again. <gasps> he doesn't want to go in. Not worth it, Mark. You're about to lose everything. Do you understand? It's that it's that back, devastating to him. Harrow succeeds and, and, and all those people die. Yeah. If Layla dies, that's on your head. <sighs> It'll be all your fault. <gasps> oh, don't say that. Oh. oh my god, Mark. And we're back and we're back and we're back. Mark would do anything not to confront whatever is in that room. To hide from all the awful things you feel you've done in your life? Or do you think Stephen created Mark to punish the world for what your mother did to you? Wow. Do you know? Oh God, this is, this is okay. And we're, we're, and we're going in. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me the mom tries to do something. Oh. 
again. Look at the state of this place. Better sort it out before mum sees it. And he's which is danger is near. Stephen Grant has no fear. Whenever it Oh no. And and so that's what he was trying to protect him from was that he was that's the whole point of you. Oh the point of me. He the point of me what to be your stress ball? But Steven's an actual person too. But now what what does original really mean? Simple. Because they're life. both. You're just, what does it matter? What, you want to remember the truth? That you had a mother that beat you? That hated you? That, that made your life a living hell? You know, you're just trying to upset me. But you've gotten to live thinking that she loved you. That she was kind. He meant he. She's still alive. <gasps> She's not. She's alive. I speak to her every day. What are you talking about? You leave voicemails. After all these years, Stephen, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Oh no! He never wanted Stephen to know. Stephen was the happy, normal one, according to Mark. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Oh, now Stephen. It's so strange. But this is a haircut. Part of. It's very. Ned Flanders? <laughs> what's the way I'm now? Well, it's just, Stephen, when you first came in here, I was worried you were never even going to be able to acknowledge Mark. What do you mean? Wait, what? what? It's what? I mean, after your mother passed. <gasps> Oi, don't say that. That's not true. Oh, That's not true. Oh, I'm, I'm so, I must, would you, would you like to speak with her? What do we call her? Well, you don't have a number, do you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, I don't know. Know. Would you like to speak to him? Mom? Oh, is he afraid of what she's really going to say? Maybe we can actually call her because this is like the afterlife. Oh, no. Any. Oh. It's just dial tone. Oh, Stephen. So Stephen was never meant to have to know or be aware of any of the harsher realities. But Mark didn't want Mark didn't want him to see that because oh, and that was the memory of he couldn't go in. <gasps> oh, he couldn't go in. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep, and he's going to switch into Steven because it's just the pain is too much. Harold was right. He's been in such horrible pain. What? Hey, uh, Mom. Hey, you all right? Yeah, um. <laughs> Would you believe it? He's calling. Oh, I'm totally oh. lost. I got Mom's death and shiver two months ago. As soon as the moment our lives are beating into each other. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Oh. All those horrible things that she said to you, she was wrong. It wasn't your fault. Oh. I shouldn't have brought him in that cave. I shouldn't have brought him. You in were a kid. You were a child. You were just a child. Right. It wasn't your fault. We're actually healing each other. Whoa! Hey. Your scales never balanced. Our journeys come to an end. I oh no! Stop the inevitable. Really but they. Guys, but... Okay. There's got to be a way out of this. But Stephen can also. He's gonna. He's gonna throw them off. Ouch. 
Oh no! You've got this. But if I'm you, means I've got this too. Yeah, yes! You're both strong. You're you're both you're both you're both him and you're not, but you are. <laughs> Watch out behind you, baby! Watch out behind you! Well, Steven is just... Whoa! Good job! Good job! Ah! No! Mark! Ah! Steven! Steven! No! Go back and get him. Go back and get him. Steven, get up and go. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yes, it's, 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 oh God, no. It's, it's like, it's like miring him. Oh no, he's gonna freeze. Said this, no, this can't be happening. You're not gonna, you can't do this to Steven. No. Steven, no. Steven, no. Steven! No! <gasps> what? What? Be Don't tell me that that was what had to happen in order for his scales to balance. Does that really mean that he's found peace because Steven died? Ah, guys, that was a rough one. God. So it makes sense that there was some kind of traumatic incident in Mark's life. And I... I understand a little bit more now of Stephen's origins and what Mark saw as Stephen's purpose. He he protected Stephen. I feel like there's I feel like there's so many layers to that because he couldn't protect the brother, but he can protect Stephen. And also Stephen is where Steven is what happens when he needs to, it's so, it's just so much for him that it's unbearable. But it's really, if there's one thing I feel like they've really driven home, it's that like Steven is a person though. You know what I mean? Like it's hard, it's so hard to see that and think, oh, so all that had to happen for Mark to be at peace was for Steven to die. I think that they made some great progress in this episode in terms of like understanding each other. And it's just kind of jarring to see that like Steven really isn't going to be after all that progress that they made, after all they did, or are is what they're trying to say that now that Mark has confronted it, there is no need for Steven? Is that kind of what they're trying to imply? Because again, like, I don't know. It's just, I feel like Steven is a legitimate part of everything. So it's just a really hard pill to swallow, I think, that... Um, that would be, that would balance the scales, you know? That would bring everything into harmony. I don't know. I really don't know how to, f I gotta admit, I don't know. And I don't know if this is the end of it. You know, I mean, we saw, <laughs> we saw Mark Steven get shot. And that was not the end of the story. So the fact that we saw Steven freeze I feel like it's still possibly not the end of this story. So I'm going to kind of like just put a pin in my thoughts and feelings about that until I see like what the overall plan is. Um, but wow. So 
a lot of it. So I was really like, um, at the beginning of this episode, they even bring up like, why would this be like a hospital? And I wonder if it has something to do with the way that Mark saw himself or if he just saw that is like the best setting for them to try and work it out or I'm still not like 100% clear on like why that setting although towards the end it did kind of feel like um especially like there was an interesting shift where we had Mark um he was always the one who was the patient and as soon as Stephen learns what happened to Mark. Now it's now it's Steven. That was like an uh, there's a lot there's a lot of layers there that that um all of a sudden like Steven could confront what happened to and not just Mark. And Steven had to confront that like so Layla mentioned um that the mom didn't talk to him. And so I thought at the beginning of the episode, oh, that's why, because, you know, there, there was this incident that happened um, when he was a kid and she was just so ruthless to him afterwards. Um, now we know it's because she passed. So this puts together a lot. It really does feel like pieces of a puzzle coming together because we know that, so I don't, I don't know if that was the first time that Steven had ever come out. It does seem like what they were implying was that Steven um, came to be after the death of the brother and the mom's, like, abuse. Um, but we know from, like, a few episodes ago that Mark had said... Um, he was, like, managing. Like, there weren't as many manifestations of anyone besides Mark. So I was wondering, I'm like, okay, because at first I'm like, is that, if that's when it happened, but then it got better, but then something happened, so that's what happened. It was the mom passed away. And that's when um, it became more frequent. And as Mark put it, they started bleeding into each other. Because <sighs> Layla wasn't aware at all. Um, so that would indicate that there were not... That Mark was the one in control most of the time. Um, and I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're ever going to do anything about a third altar because they've dropped a few hints, but I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like this episode maybe kind of put that to rest. So I don't know. Um, but if I still don't know, like how, how this is all going new because we're trying to get back. We're going to take back up with Khonshu in order to stop the whole Ami thing. If we're in the actual underworld, I'm still not quite sure like how much of this is like physically happening and how much of it is like, because to see Steven like frozen there. Is there, I don't know, I just, I don't know what that's going to mean. I don't know if that's, like, the, the actual end of Steven. I would think it is. But, and then, so then we got to the place of, well, I forget what they called it, but, like, the, the good place, basically. Um, so are we going to stay there, or are we still going back? I have a lot of questions. I love how they answered like, basically all of our questions for the whole series and then opened up more. Um, God, I, I, I just, I don't know how to feel about this because... Steven.
And to see like the two of them really working together for like the first time. Steven protecting Mark, you know, because I find it interesting that like Steven was always like, oh, well, this is like the, this is the, um, the life that Mark is trying to protect, like the, the quote unquote good one, you know? It, it really does make an awful lot of sense with knowing, like, about his brother and how he couldn't protect his brother. And so there's this... Ooh, sorry. I just got something in my eye. <laughs> that, that does make an awful lot of sense. That there would be not only to help with the pain that Mark was feeling... But there is, like, a degree of it that feels to me like, oh, this is almost kind of like a, perhaps, uh, it's, I wouldn't say it's a manifestation of the brother because we know so much of it is based on this movie character, too. Um, but it does, it does make a degree of sense, I gotta say. Oh, that is just, it's heartbreaking. I mean, how do you deal with being a child and being, and, and I love how Steven in the end was the one to kind of like, felt like kind of set him free, you know? Like Steven wasn't just there to drown his pain, like he really did help him heal. And now I'm going to mess up my eye again because I'm starting to tear up. I, I honestly, I feel like that's one that like, I just, I really need to digest it even more to really even realize like just how deep that went. Um, but wow, just wow. That was eye opening. It was devastating. It was interesting. It was heartbreaking. It was confusing because like, I really don't like confusing. I say in the best possible way, because, um, I really am not sure what's going to happen now. Is this really what, is this, is this peace? I don't know. Like, are we still going back? Is Steven really gone? It really looks like Steven, but then again, like, again, like we shot someone and it was not the end. So, <sighs> also the hippopotamus was pretty amazing. I forget what they said the name was. Um, that is a lot to process you guys this is another one that like I'm gonna look forward to editing because I'll really get to like go over it in extreme detail um wow just wow um it's amazing to me how the last episode was mind-blowing in a totally different way and this one is like mind-blowing and just understanding the origin of it all and we also got the origin of Moon Knight and it's just, it's just really fascinating how, like, Steven can stand there and kind of be, like, almost, like, the voice of reason, saying, like, he manipulated you. He, and honestly, I think they're both a little right. I think that, I think that there is a lot of manipulation going on with Khonshu. Khonshu is also not a cut and dry character either, though. Which I'm sure they'll get into more. I mean, I think there is something really healing about what we saw take place here. And that's that if Steven's role was kind of born out of this um, traumatic event that happened where, you know, Mark took the full responsibility of what happened to his brother. And not only that, but just the level of abuse from his mother afterwards and blaming him. There's something about having Steven say to Mark, like, it was not your fault. And kind of like act as that voice of reason for him. That I, I feel like it is very freeing. It does. I can see like where the peace, where the peace in that is for Mark, you know, um, and how that affects their, their roles. Um, because it does seem that Stephen was like, um, the role of Stephen was sort of in response to, um, just like the trauma 
um, that Mark was dealing with. So guys, somehow we're going to wrap this all up in one more episode, and I have no idea if we're getting a season two. I don't know any details. Um, for all I know, like, this is it. The episode six is it, but I, j I honestly, like, I'm just coming away from this, like, wow. I didn't think I could get more surprised than I was last time, but <laughs> I'm, like, a whole different kind of surprise. So, all right, guys, that was quite an episode. Um, it really took me on a journey and uh I will be processing it I will be digesting the whole thing for sure um but thank you for watching along with me I hope you enjoyed watching along with me um a lot of it was just me trying to like let it wash over me and it understand and try and process what was in front of me um all right Next one is the last one. Oh my goodness, you guys. Thank you, and please be sure to join me next time. Please. I know for sure I cannot get through the finale or whatever it has to throw at me <laughs> without you. Please join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.